So I'm on my bike headed off on a bit of an adventure. I've got my backpacking backpack on, which is not something I'd normally r ride my bike with, and that's because I'm going camping. My parents are away on a walking trip in England, and I thought I should go on a bit of an adventure while they're gone having their adventure. Yeah, I could have driven to the property my mom owns a couple miles away in the mountains, but I decided to make it a real adventure and bike there. Despite most of the route being paved, I'm riding my mountain bike. Although my road bike would allow me to hang panniers off its rack and carry some of my stuff, I'd still have to wear some amount of backpack on in those panniers and not have to carry as heavy of one of these. It wouldn't do so well on the dirt roads that are at the end of at least this leg of the journey. And that dirt road I don't particularly, I think might not be in the greatest condition for a road bike. It'll be fine on my mountain bike because of the flooding last summer and then this past winter. And then it turns into a class four road, which is a public road that the town doesn't maintain. It's a legal designation. And that's pretty rough. I know I could mountain bike it normally, but I'm not sure I will be able to with this pack. I'll just have to see when I get there. The first thing I do when I get into camp is almost always set up my tent. Though today that was preempted by putting on pants because it's actually quite a bit of bugs out. It's early May. I wasn't anticipating that. And I also want to have pants on to kneel down on this ground with some sticks on it. The reason to set up my tent first is if it does start to rain, I'll have that as a dry spot. Though I won't always put on the rain cover right away. If the tent needs to dry out and it is going to dry, or I want to hang out of in it and it's hot so I want really good airflow, though I will almost always put the rain cover on if I'm leaving the area for a bit. Once you get your sleeping pad in there and blown up, it gives you a place to lie down and rest, often pretty important. And it gives you a place to put your stuff as you unpack your pack, so you don't end up as a total and complete yard sale. Also, and probably most important, it's just how I was taught and how I have always done it. It's like I get into camp and set up my tent. I don't really think about doing anything else. So one of the little tricks I've developed to kind of more efficiently pack is of course my sleeping bag I double bag because I really don't want a wet sleeping bag. And this was in a in a dry bag inside is but the trick I've developed is having my sleeping sheet which I find very nice, a nice little thin silk one, and my pajamas, which again is something I really like inside the same stuff sack as my sleeping bag. It's this sleeping bag stuff sack, um, which fortunately, and I'm really glad it does because it makes packing it a whole lot easier, has a little extra room, which then I'm able to store other bedtime related stuff I didn't bring my felling axe along to split wood for a fire or anything like that. Instead, I brought it along to clear this trail. We've been trying to have a trail to give us better access to the upper portions of this land, but we get up here so rarely, well, every time we come up here, we try to make a little dent in it or at least clear the blowdowns that are on it. We just want to be able to get around this land. Not that the woods is hard to get through. It's pretty, pretty open. We can walk just about anywhere, but if you know where you're going, where you can follow a trail a bit, that helps not get lost. In addition to clearing the blowdowns on the section we already kind of try to maintain each time we're out here, I want to extend it up the hill a little bit further. 
Given that we don't blaze this, I do a little, maybe a little bit more than I strictly need to to make it easy for just kind of walking through because, well, even though I don't necessarily want someone who doesn't know where the trail is going to be able to follow it, I want to be able to follow it myself and have my parents be able to follow it. Which, given the open woods, is difficult to kind of delineate. But we kind of know where it's trying to go. It's also, I want to make it fallable in the winter time for skiing up here and also just wide enough to make sense for skiing because that is a little bit more width, particularly on the hills, than walking. With the first course of fried onions, carrots, and tempeh eaten while I was boiling the water for the second course of um, pasta and cheese and pesto, kind of a, a nice spread out meal, as often is typical if you're trying to do more than one course with like the one pot I brought along. One thing that we'll always do when camping is instead of uh, mixing in like the the additives like cheese to pasta um, in the pot we'll do that in our personal bowls because um, we lick out our personal bowl so it's less mess to have to clean up and depending on how messy it is after licking it's a pretty easy simple rinse out often that then we'll drink I've got everything neatened up outside and in the tent, everything stuffed into my backpack and got my two water bottles filled and got like my headlamp and everything I need. I've got a book to read, um, getting ready to go to bed, just kind of as the sun's setting. Um, I'll read for a bit and may, I'll see how good this book is. I haven't started it yet and I might read into the dark with my headlamp, but I'll have to see.
So I've got my nice hot breakfast of oatmeal and yogurt here because it's a one night trip so I can bring a little bit of yogurt along and make my breakfast so much nicer. Um, Oh. hasn't started to rain yet which I'm really grateful for I did get up early after a rather restless night didn't sleep very well which is abnormal for me camping I normally sleep really well camping but this is I don't normally camp alone and there's definitely a little bit of that that weirdness to it this is only the second night I've gone camping alone and the previous time was car camping so I think getting used to just not having someone else there and just that that comfort um, and it's we'll get this all packed up all should be out of here pretty soon hopefully before it starts raining and then I've only got like about an hour bike ride home which hopefully means I can get home before it starts raining or at least get most of the way there When I look at the sky, the rain doesn't look imminent, though it is coming. The, the real question isn't if it's going to rain today, it's when the rain's going to arrive. I was fortunate to get home just about five minutes before the rain started. And though I'm back home, I still have quite a bit of work to do, um, putting everything away, washing all the bags, and just kind of, yeah, getting, getting all this put away. But I'm glad I did this, and kind of partly, yeah, it was an adventure, and is a proof of concept of can I bike with a backpack and the answer is yes but it doesn't work very well because a couple reasons one is that even though I was able to have my water on the bike and not carry it on this I, I was carrying my axe and all my filming stuff so that kind of in general it should be lighter if you aren't carrying water but given the particular circumstances of the other stuff I was carrying with me um, but it's also that like a backpacking backpack like this is designed to put the weight where you want it when you're basically standing straight up and down. Whereas when you're on a bike, you're hunched over a little bit and um, it's, it doesn't work as, as well for that. Um, just kind of, because I, like I want the weight on my back as opposed to like just on my shoulders and hips. It's just like, just the ergonomics of it doesn't work super well. So I think... Because even though it's not super easy to put a um, bike rack on a mountain bike, it is possible to get them to work. So I think if I wanted to do it with my mountain bike in the future, um, I would try to get a bike rack on there and get panniers and be able to hold stuff on the rack um, just to allow me to not have as much stuff on my back. I'd still probably have to carry some on a, in a smaller backpack or maybe even this backpack, but I don't know. Um, it also, I'm glad to be able to like pull this back really far. So I had never had any issues of my helmet hitting this, which was one thing I was concerned about. And if it was too bad, I probably would have called off this entire trip once I got started. Um, of just like, cause I wouldn't want the helmet hitting against this for the entire ride, but that wasn't at all an issue. I was able to, well, move this over far enough to get it out of the way. Um, one of the things that I didn't think about this as kind of a test of, some stuff but um it, it taught me some stuff about my gear one of them which is for a number of years i've been using this sleeping pad it um it's a kind of full it's not a self-inflating thermarest style one like i was using on this trip and it packs down to well about half the size it's actually a little bit heavier than the thermarest but it's it's not as 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 long um, which I hadn't anticipated being an issue really because I've used Thermarest on multiple other trips before, but in, in this case it, it was because that created a really tall area that like I couldn't get this down as far as I'd like and it just didn't work as well as like the smaller size, which I think I kind of need for this size backpack. I like... If if I worked out would work out a way to get the thermarest on the outside of the pack like the tent and get like that waterproof because I don't want a wet one of these and I don't just trust a plastic bag for that on the outside. Um, 
That's only secondary waterproofing for my sleeping bag. But if I want to be able to store it inside the pack, I think I need to get a new one of this. And the reason is that this has developed a leak on uh, well, the previous trip before this and is no longer functional. And I, I tried to patch it, but my patching didn't work. Overall, it was a successful trip that everything worked. And I was able to yeah spend, spend a night out and, and bike there. Um, just kind of don't really know what more to say.